Hi, welcome to another video in my series on matrix transformations. And in this particular video, we're going to look at the matrix that represents a reflection in the line y equals minus x. And I've got a shape to demonstrate this, this triangle here, ABC. You might like to put down the coordinates of where you feel that this shape is going to go to when we reflect it in this line y equals minus x. But what I'm going to do though is show you how we can find the matrix that represents that transformation. And if you've been watching videos in this series, you'll know by now that all we do is consider the two unit base vectors, one zero, which I'll mark on here, one zero, and the other unit base vector, this one up here, zero, one. And we look at where these two vectors move to under the given transformation. In this case, a reflection in the line y equals minus x. So we'll just mark that line on, y equals minus x, there and there. Okay? So, first of all then, where does 1, 0 go to if you reflect it in the line y equals minus x? Well, it goes down to this position down here. The vector, in fact, 0, minus 1. And where does the vector 0, 1 go to if we reflect it in y equals minus x? Well, it goes to this position, the vector minus 1, 0. So when it comes to compiling the transformation matrix, all we do is we consider the results of where each of these two unit base vectors move to. And the first one, 1, 0, moved to 0, minus 1. So we put that in first, 0, minus 1. And then we put in the vector where 0, 1 moved to, which was minus 1, 0. Minus 1, 0. And that completes the transformation matrix. So to test this out, all we need to do is an example. We'll take our transformation matrix, in this case 0, minus 1, minus 1, 0, and we'll multiply it by the shape matrix for the shape ABC. And we do that by just taking the position vectors of each of the vertices A, B, and C. That is the vector from the origin out to A, B, and C. So for A, it's going to be 2 across, 1 up, the vector 2, 1. For B, it's going to be 2 across, 3 up. And for C, it's going to be 3 across, 1 up. And if we multiply these two matrices together in the usual way, I'm assuming that you're familiar with that. If not, just check out the video on my website for matrix multiplication. But what we get if we do the top row with each of the columns is that we end up with negating all the numbers on the bottom. So you get minus 1, minus 3, and minus 1. And when we multiply the bottom row with each of the columns, what happens is we negate all the top row. So that would be minus 2, minus 2, and minus 3. So if we start to plot these points, A at 2, 1 now moves to its image at minus 1, minus 2. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 1, minus 2 is that point down there. B was at 2, 3. It's now moved to minus 3, minus 2. Minus 3, minus 3, minus 2 is that point there. And finally for C, which was at 3, 1, it's now at minus 1, minus 3. So, minus 1, minus 3 is that point there. And so, you can see that if we take our three points, that should be the image of our triangle ABC. Okay, well I hope you can see that this clearly represents 
a reflection then in the line y equals minus x. And as usual, I would always encourage you to try other shapes in other positions. Check out that by multiplying your shape with this matrix that it does generate a reflection in the line y equals minus x.